It was a pleasure having the book signed by her, and we'll publish it in Remix magazine. Vení, Maripol. Te quiero. He loves me. But you, this one he brought with It's so much better now. <laughs> so somebody changed it. Uh, uh, somebody changed it because it was a... Oh. When did I show you? It's really, really good. When you were an 80s icon, how many young people do you think are very curious about the history of the 80s? I think they're all curious because they live in a, in a place where everything is brought to them on a silver plate. When we used to, you know, make stuff, fabricate, they still do, but it's not the same. They, they, they have instant satisfaction, instant gratification. We had to work harder to get things. And so, and I think the 80s is, but you know, in a way it was the same for us. When we were in the 80s, we were looking back at the 60s, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, weren't we? For everything, for style, for, for makeup, for music. Tell me about your relationship with Andy Warhol. Oh, Andy was the sweetest. He was really, a really, really nice person and he had no, um, uh, he was not a snob, you know, he really, he never looked down on people. He was actually also very fascinated by uh, glamour and famous people, uh, but he was very humble. But what was your relationship with him? I had a very nice relationship because he was a big fan of my uh, jewelry work and he used to buy a lot for his niece and then he bought me some classes of drawings and then he was there when I uh, opened my store, he was there when I closed the store, and he always gave me good advice. Okay. What's your relationship with Marc Jacobs? Because I know you recently launched a jewelry line with him. Yeah, jewelry and accessory and t-shirt, and you know what? He's gone. There is only very few left. He went, he was very, very successful. He was supposed to actually come out at the same time than the book. I didn't realize the book took that long to do. <laughs> so are you going to reissue more jewelry? I hope so. Buying? Yeah, m maybe with them, if they want me to. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not exclusive. Anybody who loves me can have me. <laughs> But how do, you, how do you know Mark? Mark I knew from the club scene and I knew when he was graduating uh, from the schools and he became right away the hardest name around and he was always really, really sweet. It's a pictorial book of style. I think it's about the style. It's about fashion too, in a way. She was the woman who created Madonna's first big look, but she's so much more than that. And you're going to have to buy her book to find out exactly what that's all about, because it's all in there. My name is Joey Arias, and I've known Mary Paul for a million years. We used to work together at Fiorucci, and we had so much fun. Mary Paul is inventive, outrageous, crazy. This woman, her brain, words come out, I've never even knew words existed like that. Mary Paul invented the Madonna look. Mary Paul had the, the, the Fiorucci look. Ma, Ma, Mary Paul is a, 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 a mother of all looks, inspiration. I just think she's, I just love her. She's insane. I love her. And she's insane, beautiful. That's what keeps Mary Paul going and going. And she's always been around with everyone, the scene. And she's been a great friend, an amazing friend. And I love her to death. She's got a beautiful child. And she is like one hell of a bitch woman. And I love her. I'm Joe Aries here at the book signing. I think this is a masterpiece. I think uh, I'm so happy that uh, she finally decided to um, uh, put herself um, as the central piece. She's divine. She's definitely an icon and she belongs to the uh, culture of New York big time. She's unbelievable. I am so proud of her. Her work. <laughs> her work. It looks so playful, but yes, it's work because you know, it takes a lot of play to come up with this much work and it's to be reckoned with because it's what's going to define our time. She was one of the most influential people in our, in our scene. I just want to talk a little bit about Mary Paul's new book. It's quite brilliant. It's really well done. The photographs are amazing. The layout is amazing. It matches Mary Paul's touch for perfection, which she always has at her fingertips.
such a, I mean, New York is such an interesting place full of interesting people, and this book captivates all of that of what New York used to be, is now, and can be. So, I don't know. It's nice. So thanks to Mary Paul documenting the whole era here, I've been able to see old pictures of my mom when she was younger and much more wild. Um, I met Mary Paul a long, long time ago when Madonna first started being the famous Madonna that we know. And um, she had these bracelets and I was doing a story for Vogue and I was photographing her and the little rubber bracelets. And if you look at these pictures, there's so many pictures of Mary Paul with all these incredible people like um, Klaus Nomi and um, Let's see, I can't see them through here. <laughs> well, anyway, Mary Paul in the 80s was um, out there practically every night and doing pictures of everyone and everything. And uh, get the book because it's really wonderful. And she's amazing. She's funny and she's to the point and she's honest and she takes great Polaroids. There you go. That's it. Mary Paul made the 80s look good. She, she recorded all the wonderful people from the 80s, like Jean-Michel and Andy and Keith and um, so many of the people. Marcus Leatherdale, Kid Creole, Adriana. Just, it goes on and on. There's uh, Richie Rich and Grace Jones and Anna Sui. And, Glenn O'Brien. She really managed to make the 80s look great. <laughs>